Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KeepAgile.com here to bring you another gear review. And today we're talking about my favorite little coffee press, which is the AeroPress. I ended up borrowing this press probably somewhere in the middle of 2015. Since then, used it almost daily. And I figured since I use it so much, enjoy it, and I've already done a bunch of other videos as far as how to make epic backcountry coffee utilizing this, Figured it was time to review it. The AeroPress is made up of a couple different pieces. Right here, you have the plunger with this big rubber seal that fits tightly to press down into here. This piece here is where you actually put your coffee in. And down here on the bottom, this cap comes off and it's just empty tube. And then if you had a paper filter, you would put your paper filter in here I use one of these metal slim filters. That way I get all the nice delicious oils which would otherwise be soaked up using a paper filter. So basically these four pieces. One thing about the AeroPress is it uses a much finer grind than say something like a French press. So with that, just something to be aware of. It comes with all sorts of stuff. It comes with like a, a funnel as if you couldn't figure out how to get your coffee in there. And it also comes with a stir stick and a ton of paper filters. Pretty much disregard all that as soon as I got it. All right, well, water's nice and hot. So the way the AeroPress works is you're gonna just place it on top of whatever cup you're using. In this case, my Yeti tumbler. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my hot water. Probably spill it all over the place. As great as this pot is for so many things, pouring hot water is not necessarily one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some water in there, not all the way up. Usually give it 15-20 seconds and then it's basically called the bloom, where all the coffee starts off-gassing CO2 that's in there. And give it a little bit of time and stir it again. It comes with a fancy plastic stir stick, but it's just one more thing that I don't need to carry. So I'll stir that, and then there's four different levels on here. You can fill it up as high as you want. I pretty much go to the top. And at this point, you're gonna take this plunger, put it on here, it fits nice and tight. You're gonna press it down and you're just going to leave it there. Tons of different recipes calling for different amounts of time. Totally up to you. I usually leave it there for about a minute. So after a minute's up, you can go ahead and press this down. You just want slow, steady pressure. And as you get towards the bottom, you'll start hearing the air escape pushing through. We're just going to push this all the way down. Per AeroPress, they talk about how you're essentially making a couple shots of espresso, and if you want to, you can make an Americana by adding more hot water. This is wrong. I essentially use this entire thing to make a cup of coffee. Because I like coffee, not coffee-flavored water. So after you press your coffee out, it's time to clean this guy. You're supposed to clean it every time after you use it. What I usually do is I back up the plunger a tiny bit because I have a metal filter on here. Turn it upside down. Take this guy off, take my filter off. If you have the paper filters, it's honestly even easier because you don't have to take that metal filter off. And then all the grounds are gone. Right in a trash can, in your compost, whatever you want to do. And at that point, you still have a little bit on here. You can just wipe it off, rinse it off in the sink. You're good to go. So a quick note with respect to maintenance in the seal. If you don't maintain it properly or after a lot of use, eventually the seal will get kind of worn down and it won't fit securely and you'll have air escape passed. It won't work the way it's supposed to. Simple fix. Get some boiling hot water. Get this guy down in there for a minute or two. It becomes kind of malleable. Take it out, find a hard surface and roll the edge around on a hard surface. It'll kind of mushroom this out, create a nice tight seal again for you. You're good to go. Also, a little bonus knowledge. People that made this made the Aerobee ring, essentially the like ring Frisbee deal, which holds the Guinness Book of World Records for 
think 1,333 feet. Someone chucked that thing. It's pretty cool. Anyway, great deal. I use it all the time. It makes wonderful coffee. Get them on Amazon, about 30 bucks. Pretty sweet deal. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.